Hello and welcome to another SprueCam tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America. In this video, I'm going to go over tool libraries, how to create them, how to select them as the default, and then going over all of the filters inside the library screen. To start, let's go up and click tools. And you'll see a default library show up. Now, to create a new one, let's hit the drop down next to project tools. Scroll down and hit create new library. A box will pop up. And in this, you just want to type in your library name. I'm going to just name this test library and hit save. Now we have a blank screen here. Now, if this is a mill library, you're going to be working with add mill tool. If it's a lathe, you'll do add turn tool. I'm going to create a couple mill tools, but I'll show you how to do a, uh, a turn tool as well. And it's really no different than mill, except you just have different groups and different, and you have insert options. So if it's a, you know, a grooving tool, a threading, a boring, external face, you just select the appropriate tool type, whether it's left or right-handed, fill in all of the different dimensions of the holder and you're good to go. Once you've got all this set, here's the tool number, the ID. Once you have it all set to create another one, you simply just hit add turn tool and then it'll add a new one in. I'm going to delete these and create a couple mill tools. So we'll go up here, add mill tool. Let's just create a half inch end mill. And for that, it would be cylindrical mill diameter of 0.5 length of let's say two inches all right tool number one all good there don't have to do anything in here if you don't want this is just looking for teeth um, and then tooling overhang I'm just going to give it three inches this is the total length that it sticks out of the of the tool holder so in this case that extra inch is a shank and then if you want to import in a tool holder model, uh, give it dimensions, you can do that here. So then to create another tool, we'll just do this. And let's just say this is a, let's do like a drill mill, okay? So a half inch drill mill. For that, I'm going to go down here and just choose engraver. Engraver shows up in both whole machining operations as well as milling operations. So it's kind of a multi-purpose tool type. 0.5 for a diameter. Again, let's do two inches. Angle, 45 degrees on that. And the tip diameter, we'll say it's a couple thou. Okay? So I've now got tools one and tool two here listed. Let's say I want to create this as my default library. I'm going to hit the drop down next to test library. I'm going to scroll down until I find test library. And then I'm just going to check the box next to it. You can see here set as default library. If I click that, now every time I open up SprueCam, this will be the library that's shown uh, for any project. Now I will touch on the filters on the right hand side here. If this is turned on, it's going to, just hovering over the tool, it's going to give it a display, okay? If I turn that off, I have to physically click it in order to see it. Tool geometry is going to show diameter, radius, lengths, all of that information over here. If I click the button to the right of it, tool cut data, it's going to give you the default spindle speed, feed rates, all that. That can be set right in here. So anytime you choose that tool, it's just going to default to that feed rate and spindle speed. This is going to show you used. We're not actually in a project, so I can't physically see that, but this will show you the tools that are being used. Uh, this will show unused tools. So if you turn that off, it'll only show the tools that are actually being used. And in this case, there's none. And then show library tools. This will show all of the library, all the tools from the library, essentially. So if I turned, if I were to turn that off, uh, you would, uh, this would show the tools in for you. Have a wonderful day.